Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Legend Series Marvel, Captain Marvel, Jan Rog. And this is from the Cree Century Build-A-Figure. And he comes in the typical style, Marvel Legend style box with the Captain Marvel logo on the top. And we get the, you know, realistic artwork imagery on the side. And it's on both sides of Jude Law looking pretty awesome as Jan Rog. It is the same imagery on the back here looking great and then we get some read-up information so go ahead and feel free to pause it if you'd like to read that and we get everybody from the wave we are here and all we got to do is the comic figures after get the then we get the build up this crease entry which just from the image just looks so plain and i'm hoping that he's cooler and once he's all built really really hoping so let's get him out of the package Jan Rog out of the package. Looks like Jan Rog and sort of like a Frankenstein Jan Rog, and I'll get into details about that. But he does come with the main big body of the Cree Century right here. We'll get into more details when I build the Cree Century. And he does come with a weapon. A single weapon. We get a futuristic pistol, which is cast in this gray plastic. It doesn't look too bad. It's not bad. It has a lot of detail to it, you know. Better than some of these other guns that we've gotten. This doesn't look like a Nerf gun. It just looks like an alien weapon. Now the figure itself I really wanted to get as I hit the camera there. Um, mainly because, I mean, I really liked his head sculpt. I loved the face part of it. Um, but in hand you could definitely see he has a issue of giant forehead, upper head syndrome. So like... You got his face right here. His top of his forehead is, is like really massive, even from a side view. Um, maybe he just has extra gear and equipment up in this helmet, and that's why it makes it a little bit poofier. But, I mean, it's not horrible, but you can definitely tell he has a bigger upper head. So, um, it does have a lot of sculpt detail to it, and I just love how the mouth is a separate piece. And it almost looks like where the nose is and the eyes are, it's just not, doesn't seem right at all. Like, it seems like his eyes should have been closer in, you know, with it is the, the distance from the eyes from the nose. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sort of thinking that his eyes, his real eyes are covered by this green part right here. So his eyes, like, I don't know. I'm afraid, like, if this was able to be removed, he'd be like some freakish face not looking like Jude Law at all, but again, I'm still still okay with this figure. It's just some things are a little bit wonky, um, but I do like it still. Um, big head or weird eye positioning or not, I still like this figure. I think it looks really cool. Overall costume design and everything is on point. It's got like these big giant like gauntlet pieces um, that were like sort of attached to the arm. You can see it. it's a little bit different plastic um it's just weird so it's like you got like the same plastic for the hand going into the gauntlet but then the edges of the gauntlet are a lot different they're like a way different green there we go you can see it there it's different it's different and he's got <laughs> what's going on <laughs> he's got like those weird shoes like they're really big and Frankenstein y looking. Guess you don't have to worry about this figure falling over. But I mean let's let's sort of dive into articulation. So his fat head can lean forward that much, can lean back and look up quite a bit. You can look left and right. It actually is quite loose and not much attitude going on with this figure at all. A little bit, but not much. Arm can go up this far, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Wrist bend and rotation. It's the same on both sides. Then we get his ab crunch, which he can ab crunch this far forward, this far back. Not much ab crunch going on there. Belt is a separate piece, which you have to adjust sometimes. But he does have that waist swivel, which the belt helps cover the hip shelf parts that I don't like with when it comes to that type of swivel. His legs can split that far, so it's not not horrible that we're getting uh, type of 
splits out of him. He can kick a field goal, thigh cut, double jointed knees. Wait, do we have a boot swivel? No, no boot swivel, which I would have thought we would have got a boot swivel. Crazy ankle bend and some good pivot, which I would hope from these giant boots, which they're almost like platform boots or something like that. And that's why when you're looking at the figure, you know, overall, like his head does stand out. And I guess they maybe were trying to balance it with some platform boots. Not too sure. He doesn't even have a holster for that gun. Back of the armor looks good. I'm a sucker for black and green. I really like green a lot. So I definitely think that sort of like drew me in. But again, that mouthpiece, like, even though stuff isn't looking right, it looks good. It looks so good. Now, this figure can pose very nicely, and he is posed on one foot. I'll rotate it around so you can see. I just have him sort of running, pointing his gun, blasting. Very, very fun character and figure to pose up. And he looks good. I, I mean, with the crazy Franken feet and Franken head, I mean, I'm okay with it. Because it's just like, he still doesn't look bad. He's got a little bit of thicker thighs and stuff like that. He's just sort of like a little bit of a girthier guy. Um, but I'm okay with this figure. With its little weird, freakish Frankenstein parts. I still like it. I really like it. And I like the fact that he can pose up very nicely and balance himself out. You know, we're not getting that with some of these other figures um, because sometimes these joints are a little bit too loose or they just can't balance right. And I'm, you know, glad that we can pose him and not have to worry about displaying him in some vanilla pose. Um, unless you're trying to cram a bunch of figures on one shelf on a detail, then sometimes you have to do that. But overall for, you know, articulated comic book art and stuff like that, doing some photos, this guy will pose and he'll definitely hold up. Now, if you want your Yon Rog fighting Captain Marvel, you could even do that. I mean, you get, you know, to have fun with your figures and have them fight whoever you want. And this looks awesome. I, I really enjoy Frank and Yon Rog. It's a nice figure. I'm not disappointed in investing into it. And that sums up my unboxing and review of the new Captain Marvel Yon Rog figure. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And make sure you check out Toy Co. Toys and Collectibles. The link to their new website is down below. There's also a promo code to get free shipping to get it delivered to your doorstep. And it won't cost you a dime. And both Facebook groups are down below. The community, interact with your fellow nerd. You can chat with me, have a good time, trade figures, talk figures. That's what the community is for. And you also have the pre-order group where you join in and you can be in the know with new collectibles and releases that are going to be coming out. And you get them for a good price. So check those links down below. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.